How often and how seriously do you think about your students' learning needs outside of their academic achievement? Specifically, their need for education that helps them be whole, happy people. Are we giving social-emotional learning the attention it deserves? Maybe you have heard this ubiquitous term, social-emotional learning, but what is it exactly? Social-emotional learning is more complex than talking about feelings. One could describe social-emotional learning, or SEL as it is often called, as a process of acquiring the skills which are in a close relationship with a person's thoughts, feelings, ideas, attitudes, and goals. These skills are key to the human experience and our ability to regulate our emotions and behaviors and interact with others positively. SEL mastery, part of the effective domain, influences our growth in the other two learning domains, the cognitive and psychomotor. There are three general areas of focus in social emotional learning, developing emotional intelligence and internalizing both interpersonal and self-management skills. To put it simply, SEL seeks to teach empathy and compassion for the self and others, to help learners expand their collaborative and relationship capabilities, and to be able to regulate their emotions and behavior. CASEL, a nonprofit organization whose mission is to generate awareness for SEL in schools, homes, and communities, has outlined five core competencies that support alignment to curriculum and better illustrate the skills to teach. They are self-awareness, self-management, social awareness, relationship skills, and decision-making. This framework guides parents and educators in applying sound and engaging activities to better aid their learners. So how does this have anything to do with mental health? Well, studies have demonstrated that concerted SEL has resulted in children being able to identify and recognize strengths and struggles, to recognize suboptimal thought patterns and their effect on physical reactions, to better communicate with peers and adults, and in general, to have more tools in their box for managing their stress. In addition, SEL has demonstrated that learners have an easier time accepting themselves and others, leading to greater self-efficacy and self-actualization, while they simultaneously are able to form and maintain meaningful relationships in which they experience encouragement and validation. So, what steps can you take to trek a new path into a more mindful classroom? Listen. Listen to what your students are saying and not saying without judgment. Celebrate. Celebrate your students' unique talents and perspectives and model that celebration. Relax. Yes, learn to relax and share that gift with your students who desperately need it. And lastly, guide. Guide your students through modeling, scaffolding, and conscious discipline approaches. You can do this. After all, teachers are the most creative superhumans. How will you create learning experiences that are rooted in helping kids develop their social-emotional growth?